we're going to do the phase line of this differential equation and after that we're going to sketch the solution that satisfies this initial condition the solution that satisfies this initial condition and the solution that satisfies the initial condition the first step is to find the equilibrium points and to do that we need to solve this equation this is a quadratic equation whatever is in front of the y dt we set that equal to zero and that will give us the equilibrium points we are finding the equilibrium points then this we can use the quadratic and in this case we can factor this is y plus something y minus something equals zero the numbers are four and one and that means that either y equal negative four or y equal one then to do the face line we do a vertical line and we plot only the equilibrium points we plot one and we plot negative four you see this is zero negative one negative two negative three negative four we don't plot the zero only the equilibrium points one and negative four then when we do that this line with these two points this line is divided into some pieces in this case we get piece number one piece number two and piece number three and then in each piece we take a test point and we replace it here then for example if we pick negative five negative five is going to represent this piece and when we substitute negative five here we get negative five squared is 25 plus three times negative five is 25 minus 15 minus 4 is going to be a positive number we only care if it is positive or negative and since replacing negative 5 here give us a positive number and negative 5 was representing this piece then we do an arrow going up in this piece maybe the easiest point to pick is 0 we can pick any point and when we replace 0 y equals 0 when we pick zero, we get that this becomes, this expression becomes negative four, negative. That means that in this piece, we're going to have an arrow going down. And if we pick a number like five, if we pick five, then we have 25 plus 15 minus four. We don't care about the exact value. We care that this number, when we pick five here, is positive. That means that the arrow goes up. Notice that if we pick two instead of five we get two squared is four plus six minus four is still positive then the arrow will go up it doesn't matter what pe test point you pick then that will give us the, the direction of the arrow this is what is called the face line this is the face line we want to classify the equilibrium points notice that if we have an equilibrium point and the arrows before and after they go away then this is called this is called a source then here we have that this is a source if we have an equilibrium point and the arrows goes toward the equilibrium point then the equilibrium point is called a sink then this is a sink notice that so far we have the face line the equilibrium points and we have classified the negative four is a sink and one is a source the other possibility that we may have is if the two arrows goes in the same direction when this happens this equilibrium point is called a node but here we don't have any nodes this is the part about the face line now in order to do the sketch of this solution for example then something that we do this is the zero then we try to this is the zero in the face line we try to do the the t-axis like a line with y equals zero this is the t-axis and we do a y-axis right and what we do is uh, we draw the equilibrium solutions y equal one y equal one this is one this is an equilibrium solution and we do a dash 
and y equal negative 4 is also an equilibrium solution and we do it dash as well this is drawing the equilibrium solutions and then this solution y of 0 equal negative 5 it goes through the point 0 negative 5 0 negative 5 it goes through this point we don't care about the zero now negative five negative five is here in the phase line and it says the arrow goes up since the arrow goes up that means that this function increases then the function increases let's just do a little bit it goes up but then every solution either when you have this here as a polynomial then every every solution will go either asymptotically to an equilibrium point if it is increasing or it will go to infinity but here it cannot go to infinity right because there is this equilibrium point then it must go asymptotically to an equilibrium point notice that we have that this is a solution and two solutions never cross then you cannot cross it then it's going to go like this asymptotically to an equilibrium point it's going to go through here and in the other direction when t goes in this direction it will go either to negative infinity or to an equilibrium point but there are no more equilibrium points below negative four that means that this will just go to negative infinity then this is the sketch of this solution now this solution negative y of negative two equals zero that means that when t is this is one this is negative one and this is negative two it will go y of negative 2 equals 0 it will go through here 0 0 is here it's in this piece that uh, in that piece the arrow goes down that means that the function is decreasing the function is decreasing and then if it decreases it will decrease to it will decrease to negative infinity unless it's a stop by an equilibrium point and then this function is going to be a stop by this equilibrium solution but then it's going to be asymptotic to this one then it's going to go like this and in the other direction it's going to go up in this other direction it's going to go up and then it's going to go up either to infinity unless it's a stop by an equilibrium solution but this is an equilibrium solution then it will just go asymptotically to that equilibrium solution this this is going to become like an asymptote horizontal asymptote then this is the graph of that. Now y of 2 equals 3. This is 1, 2, 3 would be here. The function goes through that point. 3. 3, y equals 3. 1, 2, 3. Maybe a little up here. This is 3. 3 is here in the face line. And the arrow for 3 is up. That means that this solution is going up then if if a graph goes up it will go to infinity unless it's a stop by an equilibrium solution but when you go when you start increasing there are no more equilibrium solutions up there then it will go to infinity and in the other direction it's going to go down it will go down to negative infinity unless it's a stop by an equilibrium solution but this is an equilibrium solution then this become an asymptote then this is the graph that satisfies this one. This is this graph, this graph, and that graph. And that's it.